shows the thousands of dollars UNM spent sending athletic department big shots on an all expense paid golf vacation to Scotland. But it doesn't end there. Now Larry has uncovered new information about that trip the athletic department has been hiding and it's explosive. Is there any question in your mind as to whether this was wrong? No, absolutely not. There is no question in my mind it was wrong. UNM Athletic Director Paul Krebs has been keeping a secret under wraps for two years. And it involves that ill-fated golf trip to Scotland. I think looking back on it two years later, I understand why people might question it. Organized by an Indiana travel agency, it was a dream vacation with a hefty $8,000 per person price tag. The pitch? Tour with Lobo celebrities Paul Krebs and Craig Neal for a week-long golfing holiday in Scotland. Stay at the finest hotels and play golf on some of the most famous golf courses in the world. 23 participants signed up for the June 2015 Scotland holiday. But not everyone here paid their own way. For some, it was a free vacation at public expense. Our investigation found the university's athletic department footed the bill for UNM officials to go on a week-long golfing holiday in Scotland. The athletic department shelled out tens of thousands of dollars for airfare, travel agency fees, luxury hotels, and daily rounds of championship golf at world-class golf courses. UNM paid $8,000 for Craig Neal's golf trip. Paul Krebs' holiday cost the university more than $9,000. And Lobo Club exec Cole McCamey charged his $8,000 golf outing to a university credit card. UNM Acting President Chucky Abdallah told us earlier this month the Scotland trip was an inappropriate use of public money. This is not where the university funds should be, should be spent on, so uh, I want the public to know that in the future we will not be using university funds for such uh, activities. Paul Krebs justified the expenditure as a working business trip. He said UNM execs tagged along with potential donors to drum up financial support for athletic programs. With all due respect here, why should the public pay for your golf trip to Scotland? The, the trip was a working trip and it was de designed to uh, immerse us with these donors. It was uh, an intensive experience and I understand why people may question it. The athletic department disguised the trip by recording it as a basketball tournament in Ireland. Krebs admits the Scotland golf trip cost UNM some $39,000. But now it turns out that wasn't exactly the truth. You see, Paul Krebs has been keeping some things about that 2015 golf junket under wraps. VP Krebs came to me and told me that he wanted to tell me something that he had forgotten or did not tell me before. When he told you, mm -hmm. what was your reaction? Uh, I was not happy. Paul Krebs says it wasn't just athletic department bigwigs who got a free vacation to Scotland. Krebs now admits UNM quietly picked up the tab for a select group of local businessmen to go on the trip. He admits using $24,000 in university funds to give private individuals a free golfing holiday. The athletic director says UNM paid for their trip because they were potential donors to the athletic program. Add it all up and the public shelled out some $64,000 for a golfing holiday in Scotland. It's a bombshell Krebs failed to disclose until last week. This is a pretty serious omission. Would you agree? Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, that's why we're, we're talking about it. So not only did we pay for Krebs, Neil, and McCamey to live it up in Scotland, but businessmen Darren Davis, Raleigh Gardenhire, and Paul Gibson also got a free vacation courtesy of UNM's credit card. Never mind that the expenditures are in direct violation of the state constitution's anti-donation clause. He uh, 
told me about it uh, in, in no uncertain terms. He didn't try to sugarcoat it. He said, I made a mistake. I didn't tell you about it before. This is what happened. I'm going to try to fix it. UNM fundraising activities are handled exclusively by the UNM Foundation, which is a private, nonprofit organization separate from the university. Why didn't the UNM Foundation pay for this whole Scotland golf trip? It, it would have been the appropriate thing to do. It, you know, the foundation is the is the entity that's charged to try to raise money. This would have fundraising trip and it would have been the appropriate thing to do. Did they write a check and reimburse the university for uh, all the funds that went towards a Scotland trip? No. The UNM Foundation did not respond to our request for comment. I've worked with, with, uh, with VP Krebs for a while and, and I think he is, he is uh, an honorable man. He's done a lot of good for this university. You call him an honorable man here and, and as it relates to this incident, I mean the athletic department misspent tens of thousands of dollars of university funds. That's not an honorable act. Well, even honorable men sometimes make a mistake, right? The money that was spent on golf trips for private individuals was paid back late last week by an anonymous donor. We do have checks and balances. We do internal audits. Sometimes we find, uh, we find mistakes and sometimes, you know, we miss it. As the mistakes go, this one was a whopper, yes? It's a big one. Is this our last interview on golf trips to Scotland? I sure hope so. <laughs> Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. In a written statement today, Paul Krebs said the public and our fans put their trust in us and the only way to keep that trust is to admit when an error is made, to rectify it, and to make sure that it doesn't happen again.